to um, introduce yourself and tell us um, a little bit about what you do. Hey, my name is Ben Wegner. I teach high school choir over at St. Edmund Catholic High School here in Fort Dodge. Okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, growing up and how arts played an impact on your life. Take us back, Ben. Yeah. Take us way back. Uh, I'm one of the folks that, uh, I mean, my mom was a music teacher and a choir teacher. Dad sang in a lot of professional and semi-professional choirs. Um, so music was very present very early on. Um, Dad always tells a joke about I was like teething on the piano. Like our first piano just had my bite marks on them. <laughs> um, but uh, from there, like I was in the Minnesota Boy Choir from age 8 into 18, and with that group I toured literally all over the world. Uh, represented the U.S. at a choir symposium in, Aust symposium in Australia, which just changed my life. Um, and so, yeah. How has art and, and that experience, in general, like in what ways specifically, for people that don't have any background in that, um, how does that affect your life? What specifically? Uh, slowly, like even recently, um, I discover like almost every year like that goes by, I realize how much music has affected my life. Um, right after college, I wasn't part of a choir that met daily, and it was like I realized I was in such a funk. Um, and so like what it does for me and what arts in general have meant to me is that there is just a community that is built that you access and that accesses you constantly. Um, and for me, just like being fulfilled daily, weekly, yearly, um, that's what the arts does for me. And I learned that being in boy choir for 10 years of my life. It's just like there's a community that just means something in a very profound way. Awesome. And as a teacher, um, you know, you know what an imp impact you're making on those kids' lives as far as artistically. What other than, um, you know, making an amazing performance are you hoping to instill in your students? One of the, so what I'm trying to instill in my students, and I had this thought right before the school year started, um, in real time, the school just started for me two days ago, and the, one of the things that came to mind is that we build the community we want to see every day in the choir room. And if you live in a community where you're just like, I wish such and such was different, or I really like this and I want this to stay, this has meant a lot to me, this is weird. It starts in the choir room, those changes you want to see. And if you can make little micro communities, slowly like in my in the situation at St. Ed's, the community we, start, we want starts in the choir room. It goes to the rest of the building. Hopefully then the rest of Fort Dodge. And that's like kind of an ambitious goal, but I mean, that's what I tell my students all Have the time. Have goals, why not? Yeah. Um, what other aspects of the arts outside of St. Ed's in the community in those four years have you participated in or even attended? You know, what has your community perspective of the arts outside of St. Ed's been since moving here? Yeah, um, right away. Like, as I wanted to make sure I did get connected to the arts scene here in some way. Because um, like I said before, like, arts is a community and that is a community that fills me up all the time. So meeting Shelly at Fort Dodge Fine Arts, um, she gets me connected to people like Dan Cassidy, who like does stuff with Comedia, and I've participated with them, and they put on awesome community shows with members who are either vocational musicians or avocational musicians. Um, beyond that, like I've gotten to meet some people from Fort Dodge Symphony, and we do some gigs together sometime, and we get to make music in that front. Um, meeting the musicians over at Iowa Central, and then seeing what music looks like beyond high school, which I'm trying to get my students ready for anyway. Um, yeah, it's just like we're all interconnected. Sure, mm -hmm. and so what would you say, you know, your goal is going forward from here on out, because um, you're doing amazing things with your program, you are uh, a contributor to our community in different aspects, and the members of Fort Dodge Fine Arts, which is greatly appreciated, your time and talents, um, what would you like to see going forward, whether for your students or just opportunities for you as a person, either way? Uh, going forward with uh, Fort Dodge Fine Arts and my goals is that, I mean, with the idea that we all are interconnected, what I really appreciate about Fort Dodge Fine Arts is, and as an educator, um, I'm a person who needs people to see that every stage of development in whatever area of fine arts is crucial um, from like the youngest kid to the community member that like church choir is their life you know um, so like going forward um, I don't know I kind of just want to 
be part of that continuum, um, to have my students see that continuum in action, and to just engage in that daily. Awesome. Yeah. That's it. <laughs>